I know, I know, I know. It's been over a month since you guys have seen a Setup Wars episode, okay? I did not cancel the show. I love hosting Setup Wars. This is my baby. It has grown my channel to new heights. And because of that, I will always keep it near and dear to my heart. Setup Wars is as much of an inspiration to me as it is to you guys, believe it or not. I will never stop doing these videos. Besides, if I do, most of you will come after me with pitchforks because I know a lot of you watch this show religiously, but I just had a ton of projects I had to take care of for the holidays. But nonetheless, with that said, strap in boys and girls because this one's gonna be a banger. Let the Setup Wars begin. So I recently upgraded my desk in the studio to something more aesthetically pleasing. This is called the Alta and it's from a company called Fezibu, who was well known for their amazing quality and affordable office and gaming desks. So I opted for the light rustic countertop because I love the look and feel of the wood and I combined this with the white legs. This will make an excellent backdrop for my videos and provide a nice surface for PC builds and other projects. But what makes this desk so awesome is the minimalistic design. It looks like a regular four leg desk without the giant metal beam going across it. It's able to achieve this thanks to the dual motor design. This looks and feels more like a traditional desk compared to other standing desks. It's also able to support up to 396 pounds and it has two programmed heights already set. However, you can adjust the height manually if you like. Fezibo has a wide selection of frames so you can mix and match any countertop with them to create your very own custom desk that fits your style. So if you guys are looking to build a new setup or upgrade your desk, check them out by clicking the link below. We are starting off strong with a badass couple setup submitted by Lorenzo. He works in IT from Germany and the reason why he built the setup is to spend more quality time with the wifey while both having a dedicated space for gaming, streaming and studying. Fun fact, this is actually their second time on Setup Wars. Since then, he has made some nice upgrades on both sides of the setup, so they decided to come back on the show. I mean, who can forget that colorful wall? It's definitely not everyone's cup of tea, but I applaud Lorenzo for being brave enough to do it. It definitely takes a lot of guts to add this much color on a single wall, but surprisingly, it doesn't break the setup because nothing is really tied to a specific color scheme. Aside from the wall, we still got the same custom oak veneer countertop and two Alex units for support. Although the lack of symmetry is burning a hole through my eye sockets, I know that they put the center unit to help stitch both tabletops together by drilling through the top, as you can see with the exposed nails. The wifey has a more simple and minimalistic setup with an ultrawide and wireless peripherals, while Lorenzo is rocking dual monitors, a custom keyb, and a Polestar X light mouse but it does look like he swaps between a few other boards that he has proudly displayed on the pegboard beside him. I do want to point out the location of the mic real quick. I love how he clamped the boom arm to the monitor mount for a cleaner look and to extend its reach. Aside from the mic, he does have a Sony RX100 as the main streaming camera and a stream deck flipped in vertical mode, which I didn't even think was possible until now. I have no clue what the benefit of having a stream deck flipped sideways is, but you know, if that's something you guys are interested in, I'll drop a link to the STL file that Lorenzo has made for the mount. I recognize those locks from anywhere, by the way. These are child safety locks, if I'm not mistaken, but did you know that you can buy locks that get installed inside of the drawer? We pretty much baby-proofed everything in our house that can be opened with these invisible locks because it makes it impossible for our kids to open it while staying hidden. So we maintain that super clean aesthetic. The wifey's rocking an HP Spectre laptop and the PC powering Lorenzo setup was very hard to find originally because I thought the thing on the left side was one of those desk organizers. But in fact, it's a custom made open air micro ATX case packing the Ryzen 5 3600 with 32 gigs of RAM and the RX 6700 XT. After realizing that, I've also discovered that both monitor risers are also custom made. I mean, look at the way he routed the keyboard cable through the riser. That's pretty dope. A very nice surprise to see you back on the show. Thank you, Lorenzo, for sharing this new updated setup with us. Keeping up the momentum, we have our very first wall-mounted PC setup in ages. I know most of you guys are probably wondering the same thing as I am. How did he mount all that gear against the brick wall? 
or is it a brick wall? Well, if you look closely, you can see the textures and the depth of each brick. And Oliver lives in Sweden, where most houses are built by brick. Unlike America, where our houses are built by cardboard and spit. So it all checks out. You fool. It is but a trick. You see, Oliver has built a false wall behind the setup with what appears to be brick-themed wall panels. If this picture wasn't included in the submission, I would have never guessed. Anyways, Oliver is a truck technician from Sweden who built the setup in just one year for the sole purpose of gaming. We got a 34-inch ultrawide mounted against the wall right below his custom PC featuring the i9-10850K processor and an RTX 3070. And thanks to the false wall, he's able to easily run the cables through for a completely wireless look. But the wireless look doesn't stop there. His peripherals are also wireless and the rest of the gear is positioned closer to the wall so that he can just run them straight through it. I mean, everything was thought out very well. The soundbars are the primary source of audio, but for gaming, Oliver swaps to the Black Sharks that he stores on the pegboards. I do have to say that not only lines were a nice touch to add some lighting without overdoing it. I really think the setup is executed really well. There's a nice balance of function and form, and while the brick wall doesn't exactly fit the theme he created, I still think it looks nice. Thank you, Oliver, for sharing this with us. Shifting gears a bit, we have a setup from someone who I've had my eye on for a long time. Not in a creepy, pervy way, I just been following the setup progress of this person on Instagram for a while now. In fact, I reached out and I offered to send a brand new TechSource mouse pad because I really liked his setup. And to my surprise, he actually put it in the submission. So this is Zane's setup, and he's from a country that's currently on my bucket list. It's actually one of my dream vacation spots that I have yet to visit. But he's from the Maldives, and he works in aviation. Specifically, he's an airport customer service agent, and it took him a full year to build this stunning setup for the purpose of photo and video editing alongside gaming. We have a custom-built desk from a local carpenter, although I can see where he got the inspiration from because I've seen those floating drawers before and they look amazing. I'm going to assume the top shelf was also made by him considering it's made out of the same material and it's the perfect length of the desk and he's able to use up all that wall space next to the door. He's rocking a flip 24-inch monitor that's stacked on an ultrawide, both of which are mounted to the wall alongside his speakers. I love the 3D panels he added as a backdrop, but look at how the Gobi glide bars fit perfectly here. You can tell he carefully planned everything. And of course, we can't forget about the dedication to the color scheme. White on black never looked this good. For peripherals, he's rocking the Red Dragon K628 Pro paired with an MX Master 3S for productivity. However, he does swap to the Viper Ultimate for gaming. Aside from the Edifier speakers up top, he also has a few headphones that he switches between, like the Corsair Virtuosos and two pairs of rig headsets. But my favorite audio source from this setup is this really cool looking Bluetooth speaker that's underneath the monitor. Apparently this goes for $150 and it's got a built-in fast charger, a clock, and you can change the lights inside. Pretty cool. I've also noticed a few other interesting things he has on the desk, like a transparent molding of what appears to be his MX Master 3S mouse and a nice collection of timepieces. The only thing I'm not a huge fan of is the desk microphone. Isn't it annoying having to constantly move the mic when you need to use it? And doesn't it pick up the keyboard noises while you're gaming? I feel like a nice white boom arm coming down from the top shelf or from the left side of the desk would have been more functional here. And finishing off with the beautiful white themed PC that's powering it all. We got a 13900K paired with the Aero RTX 4080 and a very nice LED strip mod on the bottom. I know you mentioned in the notes that the fan configuration is incorrect and that you're waiting for the height Y70 to rebuild your PC, but can I recommend a uh, PCI Gen 5 cable extension to replace the stock cable for your GPU? This one specifically comes with white cable combs and a shroud to protect the delicate pins from getting damaged when you bend them. I'll drop a link below if anyone is interested. Other than that small nitpick for the cable and the microphone placement, I still think this setup is stunning. We got amazing attention to detail, the lighting isn't overdone, and there's plenty of personality to separate it from the crowd. Job well done and thank you Zane for coming on the show. Coming in at the number four slot is Tyser and his modern corner desk battle station. He's a student software developer from Sweden who only spent one week putting all this together for coding, gaming, and weaving. 
He used two Ekpak and countertops from Ikea and two Alex units with some legs for additional support. One side is a light work area that has a laptop, while the other side is the main battle station that features triple 27-inch monitors all mounted against the desk, with one of them being in vertical. Below that, we got a Razer Black Widow Elite paired with a Logitech G502 mouse and what appears to be an AliExpress version of our original Tobo design. It doesn't look like there are any speakers for the setup, just the Astro A50 sitting right in front of the PC that's equipped with a 6700K and an MSI RTX 3060. You know, for someone who spent over $100 on those trimmer cables, it's fascinating to me that you stuck with the stock 8-pin EPS cable. You know you can buy just a single cable extension for like $9 if you really wanted to. But apart from that, the fan configuration is incorrect. You have all of your fans set as exhaust, my guy. Even the bottom fans, which are supposed to be intake. So when you get the chance, either flip all three of the bottom fans or pick up the reverse blade design if you really want to see that juicy RGB. I do have to give you some credit on the lighting though. I think it's tastefully done. The Govi light bars in the corner for both the shelves and the desk was very clever, but the RGB strip behind the pegboard is what really got me moist. And then we have the other side of the room that was converted into an entertainment area, complete with lightsabers, more Govi glide bars, and a 50 inch TV to kick back and watch some movies. Oddly enough, there is a sofa in the same room as his bed. So either this is a living room setup or Sweden has some of the biggest bedrooms in the world. Thank you, Tyser, for sharing this with us. And sorry if I butchered your name. Wrapping up the episode is another awesome couples gaming setup. And at first glance, I was gonna say something about the wallpaper and how it really doesn't tie in with the theme of the setup, but then I realized that these are old photos and you have upgraded your setup since. Now this updated setup looks a hundred times better because you took something that didn't quite work like the bland wallpaper, for example, and you spiced it up by adding light bars. This not only helps light the background, but it also adds depth to the boring two-dimensional background you had. In addition to that, I also noticed you replaced the previous mouse pads with the new TS Hex designs, um, which I'm not even being biased here, but I, I feel like these do complement the hexagon shapes a lot better because they're more visible. So Toby is a project manager for a water and fire damage company from Switzerland, and he built this setup within a year so that him and his girlfriend can both game together. Both of them are rocking the exact same setup from the monitors to the peripherals and even the audio gear. I guess you can say that they are very obsessed with symmetry and honestly I can't blame them. Toby has done a fantastic job in keeping a perfect symmetrical setup. Hell, even the subs underneath the desk and the PCs are accurately spaced out with perfect cable management thanks to the hidden compartment in the wall. You already know what I'm going to say about those pre-built Alienware PCs, so let's just skip straight to the incredible custom work that Toby has done with this entire room. Starting with the beginning, this was actually a garage at one point that Toby decided to renovate into a gaming room. He covered all the original walls with a second layer, creating a false wall. And from there, he added the wallpaper and the top shelves that connect on all four sides. This is done to add some nice lighting on the top that bounces off the ceiling, creating a very fun and cozy ambiance in the room. Speaking of cozy, are those not the coolest freaking pillows you have ever seen? The way they are placed on the couch has to be satisfying to people with OCD, right? Or am I exaggerating here? It's inspiring how he was able to transform a cold and boring garage into a cool and fun environment where he can kick back and hang out with a girlfriend, watching movies or game together. By the way, kudos to your girlfriend Jenny for allowing you to do this. The fact that you both have agreed to this project proves that you're a great pair. Dare I even say soulmates even. But yeah, thank you for sharing this awesome gaming room with us. As always, let me know in the comment section below which of these setups gave you a massive, hard smile on your face. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in the next one. <laughs>